Yo everyone, what is going on? It is currently 10 past 8 in the morning and I am on my way to uh, Insomnia Coffee to do uh, some morning work. So it is actually Friday, the 1st of November. Yesterday was Halloween, I did absolutely nothing because I do not like Halloween. Never really did like Halloween. I'm a big fan of Christmas though, so I used to always just see, or I still see, um, Halloween as just something that's in the way of Christmas. And once it's out of the way, you can really start focusing on the festive season, you know? Um, but yeah, all of this week I have been getting my morning uh, work done in Insomnia or I've went to Starbucks as well and I actually find that my productivity has just increased a lot uh, in comparison to when I work at home in the morning because I feel like when I work at home in the morning, it's just a, a lot easier to get distracted. Like I'm going downstairs to get like a drink that I don't even want or some food um, or whatever. So here you just kind of have to stay in one place and get shit done. So that is what we are gonna do. Oh, and welcome to the video. I do not think I said that. Today is actually gonna be a really good one. I've got some good food scheduled in. I am going out for lunch. Uh, it is an arm day. I'm gonna fill you in on my junk food diet. Rachel will most likely make an appearance as well. Uh, so sit back, relax, enjoy it. Smash the thumbs up button and let's go to insomnia. We are making a quick pit stop in Go Gym. Uh, uh, yeah, so what I usually do is park like 10 or 15 minutes away from insomnia and I get most of my steps in for the day that way, uh, but it is raining out so I cannot do that today. So I'm gonna make a quick pit stop here, uh, do about 20 minutes on the treadmill and then push on. I feel like I'm back on prep, about to do a morning cardio session. I do not miss them, I will tell you that for a moment. Actually, Hard to be this is them. Not gonna lie, right? I am so bad at parallel parking, like ridiculously bad, but I actually think I'm getting the hang of it. I just did it there, let's see. In fairness, I had a lot of room, but I'm actually proud of it. I think I did a good job. Okay, it is just after 11 o'clock. Uh, and I'm just about to go for breakfast with my mom and my dad. We are going to a place called Local Kitchen. I've brought you there on this channel before, uh, but I'm actually going to a different one this time. They've opened up a separate one. It's only like 10 minutes away from the original one. Uh, but yeah, I wanna check it out. And the great thing about this place is that they do, or they have calories and macros on the menu. And obviously their food is really good as well. Uh, so it is a win-win. And I haven't eaten anything yet today so far. Uh, so I'm gonna have a cheeky little monster to fill the void. Oh yes. Ah. Oh. Not many things in this world are as good as an ice cold white monster. So good. All right, we are in local kitchen and this is what I got. So I got a local breakfast sandwich and on it there is Turkey sausage, turkey rasher, spinach, and mushroom as well. And it actually looks unbelievable. And um, my mom and dad got a barbecue beef brisket, which is a, which is a little cheekier, uh, but it looks so good. Is my face in it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do a little taste test. Okay, I am back from the local kitchen and it was actually kind of annoying because uh, the new place, that the new local that I went to doesn't actually have the calories and macros on the menu and the menu was a little different as well, uh, which was a little bit inconvenient, but it was still really, really nice. Definitely a spot I recommend if you live uh, around the Dublin area. Uh, and it was also quite easy to estimate, like it was just literally a sandwich with turkey rashers and sausages. You know, uh, but yeah, I got a delivery, came home to a delivery from a Body First Nutrition, so let's go through it. So we will start off with this staple in my diet at the moment. It is PB2 uh, powdered peanut butter. I put this on my porridge and I think I said this in my last video, but if you're a, if you're a fan of peanut butter, uh, but you're like trying to keep your calories down because peanut butter is very, very calorie dense, this is a really, really good option because per serving, uh, there is 60 calories, whereas in a tablespoon of normal peanut butter, there is 100 calories. So this is a good saving and it tastes just as good. Um, in my opinion, I got some grenade bars. Oh, I got this gingerbread one, which is like the Christmas edition. I think it's like a limited ed edition kind of bar. Now I might give that one a go today. Oh, I got this lemon 
curd protein bar from Barbells. I'm not really a massive fan of lemon, but I have heard good things. I got these Battle Bites, which was recommended to me uh, by one of the guys that actually works in Body First. And I got a Quest Bar as well. Blueberry muffin flavor, something different. Oh, and I also got this little thing. It is called a Protein Indulgence. The brand is Applied Nutrition, and I've actually never heard of them. Uh, but these are meant to be really, really good as well. Um, and that kind of actually leads me into a topic that I wanted to touch on here. And it's basically how I go about fitting junk food into my diet. And I'm not saying that this is junk food, really. It's obviously not the highest quality of food that you can eat. But there is an approach that I take in terms of fitting junk food into my diet while still being able to achieve uh, like my muscle gain goals and when I am on a diet achieving my fat loss goals as well. So I think when it comes to tracking calories and macros, it can often go one of two ways. So... One approach people take is trying to eat 100% clean all of the time. So, you know, completely cutting things like chocolate and sweets and crisps out of their diet. And on the other hand, another approach people take is kind of realizing they can fit a lot of junk food into their diet and still hit their calorie and macro targets. So in that case, just too much chocolate, too many bags of crisps, uh, too many bags of sweets and things like that. So there is this rule called the 80-20 rule and it's kind of like a guideline that will help you find the balance between both and it is a guideline that I use a lot. So it basically states that 80% of your calories or more uh, should come from higher quality sources uh, and the remaining 20% of your calories can come from lower quality sources. Okay, I've changed position because I wanted to show you this little example that I have done out on the whiteboard and first things first, uh, I got new whiteboard markers the other day and I'm still getting the hang of them because the writing came out so weird. Like, I don't know, it looks like it belongs in the Bible or something? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this person here is consuming a 2,600 calories per day, which is actually the calories I'm consuming at the moment. And with the 80-20 rule, that means that 20% of their 2,600 calories can come from lower quality sources. So that is 520 calories approximately each day. And that can come from things like chocolate. I put protein bars in there because as I said, they're not the highest quality of foods. And um, I put sweets in there crisps, ice cream, cakes, and biscuits. And that leaves the remaining 80% of their diet, which works out as at 2,080 calories, um, coming from higher quality sources of food. So things like lean meats, fish, fruit and veg, uh, nuts and seeds, whole grains and beans. And obviously these lists are not exhaustive, but they just show you kind of what I mean uh, by the 80-20 rule. And I do wanna say as well that the 80-20 rule is just a guideline uh, and it's not gonna apply every single day because some days you might want to fit something like a takeaway into your diet. And if you are on a normal amount of calories, you probably won't be able to fit a takeaway into 20% of your total calorie intake. It's gonna be more like a 50-50 rule on that day or something like that. But if you can abide by these guidelines most days of the week and uh, then you are definitely on the right track and if you don't track your calories you can still kind of implement this rule uh, by maybe like allowing yourself one small treat per day uh, as long as the rest of your meals are on track or something like that so yeah let me know if you found this helpful and if you did I can do more like little bits like this and let me know if it's something that you do or it is something that you are going to try and uh, now that I have explained it all right, it is almost time for the gym, but I actually want to try uh, these battle bites before I go. So they are caramel pretzel flavor, which just sounds delightful. You get two bites in a kind of pack, and per bite, or per piece, I should say, there is 110 calories uh, and 10.2 grams of protein. Ooh, this is not, I expected this to be more chocolatey, but I like what I am seeing, I have to say. Oh, so this is a little bite here. It is basically the size of half of a protein bar. Let's give it a go. Mmm. 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 Unbelievable. 
so good yo everyone what is going on and before i forget uh to say i always forget to say the workout is in the description box below it is a chest and back session and a very good one so make sure you check it out uh, if you want to try something different uh, but the topic i want to touch on in this voiceover is motivation because i think it's something that a lot of us could do with hearing so typically speaking this is literally the worst time of year for motivation in the gym and um, with your diet and things like that you know it's wet it's cold the evenings are getting shorter uh, and nature is just pretty much telling you to stay at home watch netflix and get fat uh, but just because motivation is low doesn't mean you cannot get shit done like you might not be buzzing about going to the gym, uh, you might not be arsed with prepping a few meals, but these are the weeks and the months that make the difference. And if you can keep uh, some sort of routine going, then you won't be leaving yourself with a mountain to climb come January. And remember that not every day has to be perfect and you don't need to be smashing PBs uh, or getting absolutely shredded over the next couple of months. But if you can set yourself a few realistic goals, like it might be getting to the gym a minimum of three days per week or prepping meals during the week so you stay on track uh, with your cows. They are the little things that will make a big difference when the new year comes around and we're all desperate to get in the best shape of our lives. So get yourself in a program if you need that extra push and uh, maybe dedicate a few hours each week to prep and just focus on ticking those boxes until motivation does come back around and it doesn't seem like as much of an effort as it currently does and as the saying goes you can either suffer the pain of discipline or suffer the pain of regret it's up to you and that is a bit of an intense quote uh, you don't need to be in severe pain or anything like that but you do get my drift so i hope that little motivational talk helped you i'm not usually someone to do that uh, but i do think it is necessary so uh, yeah if you're enjoying the video so far make sure you uh, smash the thumbs up button please and comment below as well and comment below if you enjoyed the voiceover and yeah i'll see you in the next clip okay it is quarter to seven and i am just home from the gym uh, and i'm about to have my post workout meal but before i do i actually want to show you how i am tracking my lift so i finally set myself up an account on my website so this is an account that all my clients get access to uh, on the transformation program and that is what i am using uh, to track my lift so let me show you all right so this is the workout tracker here in the account and today was a chest and back day so this is my uh, chest and back session and what i usually do so i usually do all of this in the gym but i wanted to wait until after uh, so i could show you uh, but i usually go into details first see what i've done in my previous session so that is that here and my goal today was pretty much just to beat that uh, and progress in terms of weight and in terms of reps as well and yeah then i just log away so today i was very successful and i got out three sets of 10 and one set of nine on 87.5 kg uh, so i pretty much just log that in like so and there is also a graph on the dashboard where you can track your lifts and this is in terms of workout volume so it's a graph and a table as well and workout volume is set by reps by weight so if i wanted to look uh, just like really really closely at the incline bench press i would just get rid of these and boom there we go. So I have three sessions logged here. That is my first session. My workout volume actually came down in my second session. I'll actually go through that in the next video. Sometimes workout volume has to come down to go back up. And today in my third session that I have logged, it took a nice jump. And you can also sign up to my transformation program at any time. So if that is something that you are interested in, uh, there is a link in the description where you can find out more information and you can obviously get in touch with me as well. Um, and yeah, we can have a chat about it. But let's crack on with this post-workout meal. And I'm gonna pretty much have a burger with some veg. So I'm gonna use uh, these premium mince beef burgers that I got from Kerrigan's. Calories and macros on these are really, really good. Uh, pretty much because there is like no fat on the burger. So it's like pure protein. Uh, pretty much as the bun, I am going to use uh, these Slims. So 96 calories per Slim. And they're actually really, really tasty as well. And then I'm going to use this Mediterranean, is it? Yeah, Mediterranean veg in basil oil that I got in Tesco. This is actually very tasty too. Ah. 
And boom, there we have it. And it actually looks so good, in my opinion. Anyway, and in, and in the whole thing, there is 560 calories and there is 65 grams of protein. Boom. Taste test, let's go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm like such a dork with these glasses. Okay, it is just after nine o'clock and me and Rach are gonna chill out for the evening, a nice Friday night in. We are trying to choose a rom-com, we're thinking this one over here, I don't know if you can see it, but it is called Two Weeks Notice uh, with Hugh Grant and Sandra Bullock. Solid cast. And I also have my treats ready to go as well. So some popped chips from Little. Uh, I have this apple and raspberry sparkling water from Tesco. This is 35 cent, the biggest bargain you will ever come across in your life. And I'm a bargain hunter, so I know all about that. Isn't that right, Rach? Um, and then a can of Pepsi Max as well. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the video there. And me and Rach are actually saying that um, in my next video, or the one after, we are going to do a cheeky uh, little challenge that involves the both of us. So if you are interested in seeing that, make sure you stick around uh, because that will be up in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, as always, make sure you smash this thumbs up button and comment below as well. And I'll see you in the next one.